What's up guys? Welcome back to Field Series Review. Today, we're gonna to take a look at cold weather whitetail accessories. All right guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna to be looking at accessories that you'll need for cold weather whitetail hunts. So before we get started, make sure you go down below, like the video, subscribe to the channel, head over to Instagram, TikTok, give us a follow. We're gonna be showing some of these systems over there so you don't wanna miss it. So. Uh, whitetail season is about to kick off. Now, I know it's a little warm outside, but it's going to be colder before you know it. You don't want to wait till you get to the end of October. The rut's kicking in, temperature's starting to drop, and you're realizing you need some of these accessories that are going to help you stay in the stand a little bit longer. Maybe they get sold out or it takes a little bit longer to get there than what you think. So go ahead and start thinking about these now. Maybe pick some up along the way. I know Sitka's not cheap, so maybe you pick up one now, one a little bit later. And it's really going to pay dividends whenever the temperature starts to drop and you're trying to sit in the stand longer to kill that big buck. So we're going to make this pretty short and sweet um, about these four pieces that I keep for my cold weather whitetail days. Uh, these are the accessories that I like to keep and um, no particular order. Uh, I'm just going to go from left to right and uh, give you a quick little synopsis to let you know these are the four accessories that I like to use. Um, I'm going to do a whole waterfowl version of this. It's going to be very similar. So anyways, start off number one. It's going to be the Fanatic gloves. You've heard me talk about the Fanatic gloves before. Really, really like the Fanatic gloves. They are warm. They are very, very mobile on your fingers. They're not real bulky. You're going to have your uh, trigger finger or your pointer finger and your thumb exposed on both. So if you shoot um, a trigger release or if you shoot a thumb release, or shooting your gun, or just grabbing stuff, messing with your phone, getting stuff out, zippers, you're gonna be able to do all that with the Fanatic gloves. Um, upside to them is they're very, um, they're very versatile. Um, they are warm, and they're not overly priced. They're about 40 bucks. Um, they are not windproof. Everything else in front of you, the other three items are all windproof. This is the only one that's not windproof. But when you started getting into windproof gloves, they're going to be super bulky and you're not going to be able to move around as much or have as good a dexterity with your fingers. So Fanatic gloves, absolute must have. Love these when the temperature starts dropping. The next one, absolutely love. I have it um, and for a lot of different applications is the Net Gator. Um, yeah, this thing's bougie, but oh my God, it's so warm. When, uh, you're able, when you set this thing on, covers that air around your neck. It's 100% windproof on the outside. It's got that fleece on the inside. I mean, it's it's very comfortable. Like you, when you put it on on a cold day, you start to just kind of smile a little bit. Absolutely love this guy. It is um, around fifty bucks for this net gator, and I know it seems a little little steep, um, but it definitely makes a difference when you're in the whitetail woods or waterfowl or whatever you're hunting. Um, quick side note: you this is the elevated two color. You can get this in a solid. I think it's coyote or pyrite or whatnot. You can get it in a solid color and you can use it for multiple applications. Um, so that's uh, something you may want to think about. Um, next one on the list, um, I call this the Russian hat, but it is the Fanatic beanie. This thing is very, very warm. Um, it is your typical like uh, fleece on the top. You're going to have um, your elastic around the ear so it stretches to the head. It is also 100% windproof. It's, um, it's, it's kind of cut to where it doesn't come down over your eyes, but it covers your ears and a little bit on the back of the neck. Um, it's extremely warm. I think this is the older version. I think there's a newer version, actually, almost like a helmet has like ear coverings come down. But needless to say, it gets the job done. They both do the same thing. Uh, they have Primaloft insulation on the inside, so they're going to be insulated, windproof, cover everything. It is very big. You look like you have like a, like, a giant head when you wear this thing so it's not very fashionable um, but it's very very warm this guy is going to come in um, about $90 so it's a little on the steeper side for beanies but I'm telling you in those cold cold days this guy really pays off last on the list is going to be the whitetail muff uh, this is um, a muff for your hands. The belt is going to go around your waist and it's going to sit down into the front. If you're running something like the Fanatic jacket, it already has the kangaroo pockets, so I don't know if you'd really need this. Um, but if you're running something like a Stratus or an Ambient or a Traverse, you definitely want, or a Jetstream, you definitely want to consider this because it lets you keep your hands in here, keep some warm. Um, couple that with the Fanatic gloves because these gloves aren't windproof. 
but they're definitely warm. It's it's a nice combination to put your hands down inside uh, the muff. It lets you rest your shoulders a little bit. It's got, once again, it's windproof. It's got the Permaloft insulation. Um, it's got the elastic right here so the wind doesn't get down in there. And it's just a nice felt lining in there. Very comfortable, very squishy, very warm. Um, it does have one zip pocket here for you to put your phone. Um, I actually will put my um, hot hands into here. Um, does it have a hot hands pocket in here? I can't remember if this one does or not. I've seen some that have a hot hands little pouch in here. I don't think it does. But anyways, I typically put my hot hands uh, down into here. And, um, oh, it does. It says it has a heat pack pocket inside. So I'm actually never use this. Oh, there it is. Okay, um, I always put mine into the outside. It warms the whole thing up, but you can put it down inside as well. Um, works great, especially when you're bow hunting, you're standing, you can rest your hands here, get ready to make a move. You're, it, it, because the belt sits pretty tight, um, it's just an easy movement to get your hand right out. It's very warm, kind of stays out of the way. When you're hiking in, you can spin it around to the back, um, wear it um, across your back. Um, one of the things I like to do because I have to keep up with all this stuff is like I'll take the gloves and I'll push them into the uh, the muff or I'll put them inside of the neck gaiter, wrap it up, throw it inside the beanie, keep everything together nice and neat. So, you know, you hate to be running out the door at four in the morning. You go get in the stand. You can't find your gloves, your beanie, your neck gaiter. Keep it all together. Um, that's kind of how I like to do it so I don't lose anything. All right, guys, so I hope you liked the quick rundown of these four cold weather whitetail accessories. I definitely think if you pick some of these up, you'll um, find yourself being more comfortable in the stand. And that's what it's all about, right? Staying comfortable in the stand so that you can stay there longer and you can kill that big buck. The longer you stay in the stand, the higher your chances are of being successful. And that's really the premise around Sifka Gear. What's going to keep you comfortable, keep you in the stand longer, the longer you're out in the field, the more successful you're going to be. Um, so anyways, thank you for stopping by. Make sure you go down below, like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit us up on TikTok and Instagram. Check out some of our systems over there. Let me know which of these that you run down in the comment section. Let me know how you like them, how you're using them, anything else you think I may have missed. And uh, yeah, we appreciate you guys stopping by and we'll see you guys next time.